very important sum based on converse of theorem of Pythagoras. Let us see the sum first. It says that ABC is an isosceles triangle with AC equal to BC. If AB square is equal to twice of AC square, then prove that triangle ABC is a right triangle. So, let us analyze the given once again. It says that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with AC is equal to BC. That means we have in this triangle AC is equal to BC. That is the first information which we have. Then it says if AB square is twice of AC square, that is the next information, then prove that triangle ABC is a right triangle. Now, the question is a triangle, when does it become a right triangle? We have already learned that if the square of the longest side, if the square of the biggest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides, then we can say that the triangle is a right angle triangle. That is what we have learned. Beautiful. Now, let us proceed further. So, that means we need to prove that the largest side that is AB, we need to prove AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. If we get this, we are getting the sum. So, we know what we need to get. So, let us write down the given. In the given, we have that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. That means we have AC is equal to BC. And we also have AB square is equal to twice of AC square. We need to prove that AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. That means we need to prove that triangle ABC is a right triangle. Beautiful. So, this much is clear to us, right? We need to prove this. Let us see what we have in the given. In the given, the very first thing which we have is that AB square is equal to twice of AC square. And we need to get that in the hint I have said that we want AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. So, we have AB square, right? Observe this. Now, so when we compare that, we said AB square we wanted, we have it. Now, but if you look at the right hand side, we have twice of AC square. Now, twice of AC square, can we write it as AC square plus AC square? Yes. And let us say this is result number 1. Now, observe carefully. We wanted AB square on the left hand side. Have we got it? Yes. Now, we are saying that we wanted AC square on the right hand side. We have got that also. But we are saying that we want AC. We have AC square here, but we want BC square. We do not have that. How do we get that now? Observe. For that, we have the given information that AC is equal to BC. Right? This is given to us, but we are talking about AC square. So, let us do the squaring on both the sides. So, we get AC square is equal to BC square. Beautiful. And let us say this is our result number 2. You know what now? It is so easy. Now, we will get the proof. Now, what we will do is we are just going to substitute this in statement number 1. So, the left hand side AB square remains as it is. AC square remains as it is on the right hand side. Only this value of AC square. We are going to substitute there in that statement number 1. And instead of that, we are going to write BC square from 1 and 2. Now, check what we have got. We got AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. This is what we wanted. That the square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. That means, what can we say about this triangle? We know that this triangle now, by converse of Pythagoras theorem, we can say that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. And the reason into bracket would be by converse of Pythagoras theorem. That is the sum. Wasn't that easy? Very easy, right?